Hey there, welcome to today's video where we're gonna talk about being gay, Australia vs New Zealand. Now, we all know both these countries are pretty amazing, but when it comes to being LGBTQIA plus friendly, there are definitely some differences. So, let's dive right in and see how these two countries compare. First off, let's talk about Australia. Now, I love Australia, it's got some of the coolest things like kangaroos, the Great Barrier Reef, and of course, Chris Hemsworth. But when it comes to LGBTQIA plus rights, Australia has been pretty slow to catch up. It wasn't until 2017 that they finally legalized same-sex marriage, which is just crazy when you think about it. I mean, New Zealand legalized same-sex marriage way back in 2013. So, come on, Australia, get with the program. But it's not all bad news for Australia. They have some great cities that are super accepting of the LGBTQIA plus community, like Sydney and Melbourne. They've got amazing pride festivals that are full of glitter, rainbows, and all the good stuff. Plus, they have some amazing LGBTQIA plus celebrities like Troy Sivan and Courtney Act, who are killing it on the world stage. Now, let's talk about New Zealand. Now, I'm a bit biased because I'm from New Zealand, but I gotta say, we're doing pretty well in terms of LGBTQIA plus rights. As I mentioned earlier, we legalized same-sex marriage back in 2013, and we were actually the first country in the Asia-Pacific region to do so. So, Australia, take notes. But it's not just about legal rights, it's also about how accepting society is, and I gotta say, New Zealand is pretty darn accepting. We've got some amazing cities like Wellington and Auckland that are super LGBTQIA plus friendly, and we've got some incredible LGBTQIA plus celebrities like Lord and Taika Waititi who are making waves on the world stage. So, what's the verdict? Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Australia definitely has some catching up to do when it comes to LGBTQIA plus rights, but they're making progress. And New Zealand is doing pretty well, but there's always room for improvement. But at the end of the day, both countries are amazing places to be LGBTQIA plus, and we should be proud of that. And that's a wrap, folks. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content. And in the words of RuPaul, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Amen to that.